Wow, this coral is so pretty. Hey, where does it get all of its colors from? The coral gets its color from a plankton called zooxanthella. They have a mutualistic relationship, which means they both help each other. Wow, that's so cool. Hey, what happened in this coral? Why is it not colorful? This is called coral bleaching. It's when the zooxanthellae gets expelled out of the coral because the coral becomes stressed out. Then the coral doesn't let the zooxanthellae back in, causing both the coral and the zooxanthellae to die. Hey, that's not fun. Hey Jack, what causes coral bleaching? Well, there's many factors, Nate, but the main cause is actually global climate change. Climate change causes the water temperatures to rise, which stresses out the coral. Oh, that's what causes the zooxanthella to get kicked out of the coral, which it turns on white. Exactly. Another cause of coral bleaching is certain types of sunscreen. In majority of sunscreens, like Neutrogena, it releases a special chemical called oxybenzone. When you're swimming next to coral, it'll fall off your body, and then the coral will absorb it, which eventually kills it and bleaches it. Hey Jack, this coral bleaching is so sad. I wonder what we could do to fix it. Let's go talk to our scientist friends. Hey Nate, Jack. Glad you're asking about solutions because we've got some for you. One solution is being responsible while diving near coral reefs. When we're diving near coral reefs, we want to keep our distance, not grab or touch the coral because that will eventually kill it. Another solution is trying to reduce our carbon footprint. We can do that by using less motorized transportation. Another way we can reduce our carbon footprint is by using less plastics. Plastics don't break down and they pollute the water. Also, plastic is made in factories, which makes carbon emissions go up. Another solution to stop coral bleaching is using reef safe sunscreen. Reef safe sunscreen does not have oxybenzone in it, which is a chemical that kills coral. Some reef safe sunscreen include Sunbum, Virtua, and Supergoop. Finally, educating people about the dangers of coral bleaching is the most important step to help reduce it. Uh, Elizabeth Willie, an English teacher at Sacramento right. High School. What do you know about coral bleaching? Um, I know that it is a problem. I know that it is man-made, and I know that there are certain things that people can do to mitigate it. Name an occupation. Oh, Shelly Gustafson, teacher, Sacramento High School. All right, what do you know about coral bleaching? Well, not much, except that I thought that it's because the ocean water temperature is rising and it's damaging the coral, which we call it bleaching because it's losing its vibrant color yeah. and it's dying. Um, that's about as much as I know. Name an occupation. My name is Robin Kitties and I am a high school teacher at St. Clemente High School. All right, and what do you do to prevent uh, coral bleaching? I like to keep my carbon footprint as small as possible. I try to not use uh, so many or emit so much uh, carbon gases by driving and stuff like that. Try not to litter. Anything I can at a personal level to, uh, to make it more environmentally. Wow, thanks so much, science friends. Now we know how to stop coral bleaching. And here are our sources. Thanks for watching.